Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. We are looking at a decent day where we thought there'd be a bunch of rain. That looks like it's mostly going to stay south of Long Island. We'll see uh, maybe a, a shower, a quick shower here and there. But overall looks pretty good into tomorrow. Again, maybe a quick passing thing. Uh, but I'll tell you what, we get through the next two days uh, pretty good. And then Thursday through most of next week, Labor Day weekend, into into school next week, looks amazing, Candy. I cannot believe school is next week. How are you dealing with that? You've got the kids going to school. Well, for me, I think for most parents listening, they would agree. Uh, school is better for us because you don't have to worry about driving them around. They got this, they got that. Summer activities, you know, you you know where they are for a good six hours of the day and you don't have to worry about it. That's my thought process. Ah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I used to be sad when my kids were going back to school. I didn't like it. I well, liked our easy summertime life. It is easier in the summer in a sense where you don't have to worry about uh, packing lunches and you don't have to worry did you do your homework and you know there's a lot of different things that go along with the school year obviously yes. uh, but summertime is tough because you now have kids who are basically home who have different things you have to you know you drive them around you run them around and uh, at least with school uh, you know give or take from uh, goodbye about- good uh- Goodbye. Right, seven thirty in the morning, basically for the girls, and and Elijah gets there about nine, and and um, and they're they're good till about two thirty three o'clock. So you're, you know, I understand your nap, your nap regular, your I should say your regular nap schedule. Uh, we'll friend. get back to normal. <laughs> My regular nap schedule. I like the way you think, Candy. I, I know you. I like it. You like a little lay down, maybe a little bit before the kids get home from school. I had a 20-minute snooze before Salt Shack yesterday. Just 20 minutes? I could never do that. Yeah, yeah. I Well, I didn't have much time. I, you know, I needed to get up and get out to Babylon. We had a, a great night, our final Monday night last night. At Salt well, I can't Shack. believe it. What is going on? I know, because next Monday we are now six days away from the Clam Jam at Dublin Deck, which is going to mm, be huge. Clam great. Jam. That is Labor Day Monday, 2 to 9 p.m., Southbound and Double Play both perform uh, DJ Salty Jim and T-shirts and clams. and Yeah. Love clams. Uh, But to your point, I, uh, yeah, I took a little nap before Salt Shack. That's good. You don't have that. I am really tired voice this morning. No, I feel uh, feel pretty good. I, I got home and I... Went right to bed. My head was on the pillow before 10 o'clock last night. So. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I did what I had to do. And, uh, you did. And here, here You're a good are. soldier. How was your evening, Candy? It was great. We had, um, we had a little, like, five, you know, little multiple course dinner. We started with some <laughs> crudite and dip and corn well, on the cob. And oh. then we had snow crab. Hold on a second. You and Brian had a yep. five-course <clears throat> meal. Five courses? Well, no, but a few. All right. You started with crudite, I see. Correct. Correct. All right. Um, you want to be a little more specific? Uh, vegetables and dip. All right. You be, See, you make it sound so fancy. All right. <laughs> and then what was after the vegetables and dip? Fresh corn on the cob. All right. Good. All right. That was good, right? Snow crab. Mm-hmm. Which was fabulous. Beautiful, yeah. I think that's it. That's very nice. Now, yeah, uh, we devoured were these, it. Were these really courses, or did you just have it all on the table at the same time? No, no, they were really courses. We had it, then we had some, you know, cleaned up, but up now, yeah, they were Interesting. courses. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, no, it was really good. We usually don't have that sort of thing. It was a little bit of a treat, and it was delicious. Oh, wow, very. Uh, yeah, fancy, very fancy for a Monday. Very, very fancy. I'm happy yes. for Do you like that. snow crabs? I wasn't sure I, I was going to like them. I haven't had them in a really long time, but I really did like them. Any seafood, I just got to make sure that there's enough meat there to make you full for dinner. Oh, you know? it was. Yes, I was full. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, I'm full. 
All right, so we're talking about like crab legs, like snow crab yeah. legs? Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. correct. Yep. Yeah, I always worry with those whether I will be full afterwards. But Yeah, you, know, you need to eat a few. I, I would say a lot. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. And were they were they hot or cold? Hot. All right. They were oh, really nice. good. Yeah, very it was nice. delicious. Yeah, yeah i got to say, of... it gets an A-plus for dinners. Happy for you, Candy. Happy Maybe the for show you. will get an A plus today. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what direction we're going. We'll in. Right see. Now, we'll right see. Now, it's, it's all snow crabs and back to school. I don't know. Yes, it is. Hmm, interesting. Here's one for you, Candy. I thought this was interesting. And um, there's a bar in Milwaukee. The idea is good, but they they you know they're not really giving you much when you break it down. They could have gone a little further. So I guess this bar in Milwaukee, not all that happy that Aaron Rodgers left the state and is now a New York jet. Okay. Mm, Yeah. So they are saying that if you go into this bar in Milwaukee, every time Aaron Rodgers starts a game for the New York jets and loses, the bar will pay your tab during the game. That makes it exciting. Right. But here's the rules. The green Bay Packers cannot be playing at the same time as the Jets because I guess the bar's thought process is it's going to be packed for the Packer game, so they're not offering this during the Packer game. They want to fill the place when nobody is there, so it's got to be only when the Jets and Packers don't play at the same time. Your tab must be open 15 minutes before kickoff. It only includes drink. It doesn't include food. So you put all these together, and only four times this year does that happen, where the Jets play. I see. So yeah, yeah. they're they're not going to lose a, their shirt, so to speak. Right. I mean, it's a it's a cute idea to get in the news, but they should have gone all in. They should have said any time the Jets are on with Aaron Rodgers and lose. We'll pay your bill and blah blah blah. But you know, anyway, makes it a little more exciting. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a cute idea, and uh, you know they're not pleased. Although the uh, I have to say, uh, do you know any Jet fans in your life? I do. They're 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 crazy about the team this year, right? Insane, insane. Like over the top, insane. Over the top, no question. Um, I I do believe they're going to be pretty good, but most most Jet fans think they're going from. Uh, uh, they nothing do nothing to the Super Bowl. Well, they you know. do, and yeah. it was pretty ugly uh, Saturday night with the Jets and Giants for Giant fans. Anyway, we lost. Ah, uh, yes, the preseason game. Yeah, you, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I have to say, Aaron Rodgers looked pretty good there. He really, that <laughs> he really looked good. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, Candy special song coming up at seven thirty. Less than an hour to your bald and the beautiful entertainment coming up at about eight twelve. Uh, we have your national days, good news stories on the way. We'll do that uh, coming up in the 8 o'clock hour. And uh, we got a decent day. What we thought might be a day of rain turns out to be basically dry. Could be a passing shower to the south, but otherwise uh, just cloudy and uh, maybe a peak of sunshine and should be dry and setting up for a great week. Looks like we're going to go into Labor Day uh, weekend with fantastic weather. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.